Hey everybody, Steve here in the Illinois Recording Studio again today. Hey, I got a snare drum here that uh, I asked uh, the gang at Craviato to make for me. We had some beautiful ambrosia maple, and ambrosia maple is referred to as different things. Ambrosia, it's also referred to as wormy maple. And people go, well, I don't get it. What's the wormy maple deal? Well, it's actually, uh, it, it, it's actually a very, very legitimate name for it because there are little, little holes you'll see here. We'll get some close-ups here. Little tiny holes in the wood that are made by a dung beetle and that lives in the wood. And actually, you see these striations are actually caused by uh, the, the, the waste from these little beetles that live in the wood. So it's a very cool thing. Uh, it's a very nice, uh, warmer sounding maple, in, in my opinion. And it also uh, has a beautiful look because everyone is different because these little tiny holes are very random and they're different on each board and on each drum so the color striations are different on every single one. So we did this one as a 5x14, of course a private reserve snare. Instead of a 5.5 I asked them to do a 5. I asked them to do it with these, uh, the large uh, cast lug which I happen to like. And of course we've got a trick strainer on here. But we also use the hybrid bearing edge which we've talked about a little before which is rounded on the outside. And if you think about how your drum head comes out of a of a package, you pick that drum head up, when that plastic, that mylar is coming up and it's coming over like this, it doesn't go straight up and over, so it comes over like that. So we make the edge come over like that, and then up at the top, the apex, cut it down to a 45. So Al Rocha came up with that for us, and it's a great optional edge. We can do 45s, 30s, baseball bat, whatever, but this is with the hybrid edge. It seats the head nicely. We also did this one with double flange rims, uh, get a little bit of a extra sharp crack to the rim shot from these, which I like. So anyway, enough yapping. Uh, we'll do a little demo on this and I'll play around with the tensioning a little bit so you can see what it sounds like. Here's where we got it tuned. I tune up a little higher, as you know. Okay, there we go.